How's it going, guys? So it is 7.37 p.m. Wednesday, June 30th here in Japan. It is raining outside, and we have a one-liner question that is very high yield for the step one exam, okay? Not every clip I do is going to be exceedingly long and complicated. This is quite simple, to the point, concise value, okay? I don't need to preface any longer. Why don't we just get into things? But first, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends who's prepping for USMLE. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. And find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. And the link is down below. Now, let's start the question. We literally have a one-liner. 59-year-old woman with chronic alcoholism, hepatitis B, passes away following an MDA. Her liver is shown an autopsy. We have this image. And the question is asking which of the following is most likely pathogenesis is patient's condition. So why don't we just go through the answers here sequentially. Choice A, direct viral cytopathicity. Wrong fucking answer. This is for hepatitis D, as in dog, or Douglas, or dimensional. Okay, so that's direct viral cytopathicity. Now, before I even explain that further, I'm going to immediately contrast this with choice E, T-cell mediated effect, which is also the wrong fucking answer. This is the correct answer for hepatitis A, B, C, and E. Okay, so for example, even though we mentioned hepatitis B in the vignette, just stick with me here. If they don't give you an image like this, these are metastases, okay? If they don't give you an image like this, let's say they just uh, tell you patient has hepatitis B and asks you for the pathogenesis, the what's the mechanism for the pathogenesis, just hep B alone without showing you metastases as I did here, then the answer would be T cell mediated effect. You need to know CD8 plus T cells are going to cause apoptosis of the hepatocytes in the hepatitides in the hep hepatitis viruses A, B, C, and E. Okay, hepatitis D obviously requires hepatitis B for pathogenesis, but the main effect is direct viral cytopathicity, meaning the virus itself is causing direct viral damage. It's high yield for USMLE that you know that T cells are actually mediating the majority of the hepatocellular damage, as I said, apoptosis, in the setting of the hepatitis viruses. They're not going to ask you about hepatitis D don't worry. So just for US simile, it's going to be T cell mediated effect. Now, why don't we get back to this fucking question? Okay. Otherwise this will become a 19 minute clip. I said, these are metastases. Okay. Now we can eliminate primary hepatocellular oncogenesis. This is not a primary HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma, because the lesions from the cancer are everywhere. You see that? So if they're everywhere like this, it's metastases. It's not rocket science, not overly novel or complicated, but students still manage to mess this up earlier in their prep, okay? So if they want H primary HCC, the image they're gonna give you is going to show you one large lesion, and then there might be some tiny satellite lesions adjacent the large lesion, okay? Right away, students will say, wait, what do you mean? I thought you, I thought you said that multiple lesions are metastases. Once again, if it's a primary HCC, you're going to have one large primary lesion, and then you're going to have some tiny satellite lesions adjacent, but it's not going to be all over the place like with this image. The USMLE can show you the same image here, and then the answer could simply just be colonic adenocarcinoma, okay? Colorectal cancer. Liver classically goes to, sorry, colon classically goes to liver. That's really high yield. Obviously, other things can go to liver, such as lung, okay? But I'm just giving you an example that the USMLE can show you the same image, and then the answer could just simply be colorectal cancer, okay? Because it's metastasized to the liver here. This is hematogenous dissemination. That's our correct answer. Hepatosteatosis. This refers to, of course, fat accumulating within the hepatocytes. This is classically chronic alcoholism. Of course, this patient is an alcoholic but that's not what our image is showing us. The same way that this, this patient has hepatitis B 
But because we have an image of metastases, the answer is not going to be T cell mediated effect in this case. Okay, so that's keeping our clip concise. I know some of you guys want long, lengthy discussion. Some of you guys want the clip even shorter than I made it right now. Uh, but we can strike a balance, right? You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content sporadically. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time.